then. Stop thinking that bullshit. Look at me. <laughs> hey, man, I'm scared, man. It's 4.30. What are we going to tell our wives? Man, we ain't check in. He told me some shit to let me know that it's a little bit different on his side. <laughs> I said, what you going to tell your wife? He said, I'm going to tell her it's fucking 4.30 and I had a damn good time. <laughs> I'm like, well, shit, can I come over there? Can I just come through there for like a year till my shit blow up? Sure enough, Dan went home, drunk, knocking shit over. Here we go again on my own. Going down the only road. His wife woke up. Dan, shut your ass up. They're going to wake up the kids. I wasn't there, but I noticed how she said it. And you smell like strippers. He said, hell, I should. She said, you know what? Go to bed, asshole. And that was it. That was it. The next morning, Dan called me. See how I did with my wife. I'm like, nigga, I'm still in the parking lot trying to figure out my life. I ain't going nowhere near the house, fam. What's wrong with you? I live at the club. I told you that. I just swept up, baby. This is this where I live at now. Oh, Black women don't play that shit. See, Tony and Kev, y'all got sons, man. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. I see, I, I see the, the relaxedness in y'all face. Oh, my son's gonna go and, you know, he gonna, you know, play football and fuck somebody's daughters, and this is what it's gonna be. Nigga, I am scared. You understand me? First of all, second of all, girls are like little bitty deputy wives. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know this. Anyway, man, uh, I'm about to get up out of here. Let me just, let me just, let me just say that, um, you know, what we're going through right now in our country is pretty fucked up, right? I know we got white people here. Y'all need to tell y'all friends. Um, <laughs> Cause it, it ain't just y'all. I get it. You fuck with us, but like you got to spread the word because they not fucking with us remotely everywhere. Um, but I feel like, what well, you know, we have to. Somebody go check on Big Iris J. That sounded tall. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to just say this. I, I know, May, but I'm going to just say this real quick. I feel like we got to stop looking for white love. I don't think that, you know, we understand that the trick that, that they did on our minds was us thinking that our approval for ourselves is not enough. That we need, they said, we out here marching. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. They know that. They know that. But they got their favorite black lives, though. Mm. Right? They know LeBron life matter. They know uh, fucking Tracy McGrady and all them motherfuckers matter. Right? They, they, they get it. You, you, you don't believe me? Fucking dip a duck in some oil. See how many white people come from everywhere to fucking scrub it. <laughs> is that fucking duck greasy? <laughs> We got a greasy duck in Florida. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? They know. They know. We got to have our own shit. That's the deal. Some shit for black people and Latin people. Call it Africo. Right? We take all the shit we invented and we leave. Seasonings and traffic lights and shit. Shit that we, electricity. Y'all better run y'all shit off Tesla, goddammit. We need that. And then, white people, y'all are invited, right? But you might get oppressed. <laughs> Gotta be honest, you might get oppressed. We might, you know, if I was to oppress, I would do shit. I would, I would take like the worst, thuggest white people from your neighborhood, you know, and I would sign them to a record deal, you know, and then <laughs> make their lifestyle be the standard for your race, right? And then laugh at how stupid them motherfuckers look. But pay them though, so they can make everybody jealous, right? And everybody, ooh, that's the example. Or I would take y'all tallest and strongest. And I would give them millions of dollars to play a game. And to make them feel like, as our warriors, they don't